All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot. Thanks so much for joining me today as we are looking at a Harley Davidson demo day gone very wrong. If this is your first time stopping by, man, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell so you never miss a brand new video from me that I'm doing right here. And if you want to check out my other channels, I'm doing gun reviews, been doing them for a long time, and also doing music. I'd love to have you over there as well and join those communities. I know I have a lot of people that are crossed between all three, and I appreciate your support, man, big time. I'll leave those links down below so you can check out my other channels as well. But please make sure you subscribe right here. Now, let me say right from the get-go, dude, I do not intend to chastise or embarrass this rider. She was embarrassed enough on her own. And, dude, she took this like a champ. She walked away. She's perfectly fine. But I want to use this moment as a moment to hopefully teach others and even myself, dude, because I think this is something, I think there was a clear reason why this happened. And I really believe that this is something, like I said, could happen to any one of us, but all of us can learn from it. And at the end of the video, I want you to tell me if you've had any experiences like this or seen anybody that's actually done this uh, in your own writing and uh, maybe some things to think about to, to keep others and ourselves from falling into this trap. And again, I will show you the accident. We'll play it back a couple times, and I'll tell you what I think actually happened here. The only thing I ask is that you be respectful of the rider. Again, this was an amazing event. We had a blast. It was just one of those things, dude. Accidents happen, but we want to minimize accidents and mistakes and mishaps as much as we can on motorcycles, man, because we don't have a lot protecting us. It's just us in the road, essentially, and, of course, the gear that we wear. Um, and I think this is something that could have been prevented but let's watch it real quick and see what actually happened. So I'm going to play this full speed and then we will play it back, of course, and talk about what happened. But the rider you want to pay attention to is right here. If you see where my pointer is, right here, all right? She's on a 2022 Lowrider S, same bike that I have. Let's watch it real quick. No, 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 no. Okay, so at this point, I had to turn down the volume. The girl from Harley right here, I don't remember her name, but she did an amazing job right here on the yellow CBO. She started, she was listening to music, just, you know, enjoying herself. I want to turn it down right here so I don't get a copyright strike. Now, what I'm going to do here, we're going to play it back. We'll talk about what I think happened, then I'll show you the damage on that lowrider. Okay. So we're actually coming up to the light right here. And one thing that they stressed is don't rush the light. And they have a Harley Davidson person in front leading. They have, of course, uh, somebody in the rear. And if we get separated because of a light, we'll meet back up at the rendezvous point. No no problem at all. And we're going to ride back in and finish the rest of the ride together. By the way, this was like a 40 minute ride, uh, which I thought was pretty amazing considering what we were doing here. So we're coming up on this and, and the, the, the lead starts to, to really make their turns right here. The light is green. There's no issue. This rider that was involved in the accident, she's coming up on a yellow light. Now, I don't know if maybe her perception was what this thing is about to turn. I got, I have to turn here. That's my guess, but the light is still yellow. I mean, it's still, it seems like it's yellow for a long time. Now I, my camera actually cuts out right about here. Uh, I think there's an extra frame that's actually cut off cause I could still see it just a little bit when I play it back. But either way, the light turns yellow right here and she's almost about to turn. So I'm not quite sure if this was a rushing it, trying to beat this light. That's my guess. Because then what happens is she takes this left-hand turn and she takes it just way too wide. All right, and if we look at it right here as she's starting the turn, again, I don't know what was going through her head at this moment, but as we're starting to turn, you're gonna notice this crosswalk sign right here and then there's a curb right here. She obviously is is turning way way too wide here and she wants to miss that pole no doubt and i don't blame her 
but then ends up jumping the curb and then obviously losing control and getting thrown off the bike. Right, so there's actually two curbs. that You can actually see that right there. You'll see the bike actually bounce up twice. We play it right here again. Boom, and then boom. So it kind of skips across the little crosswalk right here where my pointer is, and then she ends up getting thrown off the bike. It almost looks like a high side in a way. And then kind of turns her and twists her and you know, just kind of throws her off of the bike in one quick motion. And another thing here is if you watch her, this is something I, I would say pretty much every rider has done. You're trying to avoid something and you subconsciously look at that thing. And <laughs> there's guys here on YouTube, y'all y'all know a lot of them, that talk about head and eyes, man. And that that is where your eyes go, or instinctively where your hands are going to go. And you will see her kind of do like a little dip, but she's trying to turn the bike while looking at what she doesn't want to hit. And it, it doesn't work out like that. You have to move your eyes so your hands will naturally go with it. And, and she just doesn't do that here. Watch it one more time here. Okay, right there, she starts to do a little bit of a dip or a little bit of turn of the handlebars. All right, and she's still trying to turn all the way up until the point where she hits that curve. All right, she just it's it's very subtle and when you watch it all in one motion, she's trying to avoid that. Now, one other thing and again, I'm not here to chastise anybody. I get what's going on. The rider here to my left in front of me, uh, this guy right here, you could tell that he was thinking the rider in front of him, this guy right here, was going to run the light as well. So they're all kind of thinking like, yeah, we're just going to all run this light. you know. And it was, it was one of the biggest things they stress is don't run the lights. We got somebody in the front and rear watching, you know. Pretty much slam on that front brake. And by the way, the brakes on the Sportster S and on the Pan America that he's driving, they're incredible. And they stop on a freaking dime, dude. The best brakes and and all of that on any Harley I think I've ever ridden. But watch watch this rider right here and, and watch his reaction as well. You know, he really compresses those front forks uh, really quite a bit because he has to slam on the brakes because he thinks that rider... Is gonna run the light as well. That rider did the good, the smart thing, and and stopped. And then this is where we get to the point where we're like, all right, we gotta help this person. And fortunately, most of the people over here actually stopped. Now let's look at the damage on the bike, and then we'll talk about how can we avoid things like this in the future, um, and so we can all be safer. Right. So this is about the best footage I have of the damage of the bike, and it's clear as day. The biggest issue here is going to be that fuel tank, man. And it's a five-gallon tank. Of course, it's in the same color as mine and everything. And there is a huge, I mean, bigger than a baseball-sized dent in that tank. So obviously, that's going to have to be replaced there. And then the second thing that we notice here is the breather is actually ripped off. Now, remember, this actually has the aftermarket breather. And... It's just hanging on by one of the lines going to it. You can actually see right here that there is damage to the push rod tubes as well. If we come back here, there's a big, really big dent in the side cover. A little bit of scrapes on the heat shields on the pipes. Looks like there's damage back here to the rear fender as well. And then there's also damage to the front fairing here. So the right side of the bike really took a hard hit. I don't see, it looks like the clutch lever stayed intact. This right here looks like it's actually pointed the wrong way. The mirror is scratched up there. Uh, the right side of the bike, man, really took a hard hit. All right, so you got the fender, the rear fender. You got the tank. You got the fairing, the breather, the push rod tubes, the heat shields, the side cover. There's a lot of damage here. And I got to give Harley props, man. And, and the girl I was riding with that was riding the yellow CBO, man, I don't remember her name, but she did an amazing job. She didn't. 
chastise the girl, you know, like you wrecked our bike and you know, whatever the dealership actually doesn't do the event. Somebody else does the event for Harley, but regardless, she was very cool, very cordial asking if the rider was okay. First and foremost, dude. So amazing job there, dude. I, I was very impressed with the way that they handled this. And I think the biggest takeaway here, and I'm just guessing here is that she was trying to rush to get to the light because that was a really wide left-hand turn that she was trying to make. It seems like she had enough time for sure to, to, to make that turn, but that's the only thing I could think. And rushing on a motorcycle is a bad idea. It's just a bad idea all the way around. You start getting in your own head, man, I got to get home or let's just say it's not a demo day. Well, man, I got to get home. I got to take care of the kids. And whenever I get home, I got to do this. I got to do that. Your attention on a motorcycle has to be on the road and everything in front of you. And I think maybe she just lost sight of what she was doing. Now, let's say she felt fine turning with the light right there on, on yellow. Then it was just rider error. Her eyes got the best of her and she was looking at what she didn't want to hit and ended up almost hitting that identical thing. The thing that sucks for her is that there was a curb right there to protect her from the pole, but, and she missed the pole, but her eyes just got the best of her. So one of the two there happened, probably a combination of both, um, where you look on a bike, man. And dude, again, we, we could, we could condemn her and say, oh my God, she's, she's bad at riding, but I don't think that's true. I think it's just a matter of looking where you want to go. And sometimes we can all forget to do that at certain points. And I think this is a good reminder, man. When you're on a bike, you know, you're going to work, you're late. Maybe that day isn't the best day to ride. Maybe, you know, ride when you know that your head can be clear of everything, man. And make riding a, an experience where it does clear your head. You say, hey, today I'm going out for a ride and I'm just not going to think about anything except for the experience right here. And by the way, big props to the rider, man. She got back on another bike, rode back safely to the dealership. She said, I want everybody to be able to finish their ride and have an enjoyable time. She was fine. You know, her ankle, she said, was a little bit hurt, but she apologized to everybody, man. She, she took it like a champ, dude, and she apologized to me. And, you know, I was like, hey, man things happen, dude. You know, it's, it's just awesome that she's okay. And she really took this like a champ and she accepted the responsibility, dude. She, she was very apologetic. Uh, so I definitely got to give her props as well for the way that she handled this. All right. So hopefully we can take something from this man. I'd love to get y'all's opinion of this accident and what happened here down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold the rubber side down.